I'm Robert Osborne. Blonde and beautiful Virginia Bruce is our star of the day, number 25 in this year's month-long Summer of the Stars Festival. Hers is not a name or a face really well known to most movie watchers today, but Virginia Bruce had a very interesting career and a very intriguing life. I mean, she was married to screen legend John Gilbert at one point. She also had a Broadway career. She spent some time as a Goldwyn girl. She also made more than 80 films and television projects and worked opposite some of the great leading men of the screen. She was also the first person to publicly sing the great Cole Porter song, I've Got You Under My Skin, a song she introduces in this movie. Well, in our next film, she shares the screen with the man they call the great profile, the legendary John Barrymore. It's a film titled The Invisible Woman. It's from Universal Pictures in 1940. And as the title implies, it's a project that capitalizes on one of the great horror film titles owned by Universal Studios, which seven years earlier had made a fortune with a film called The Invisible Man with Claude Rains. Later would come The Invisible Agent, The Invisible Man's Revenge, and on and on. Most of those fright films done with some degree of seriousness. Not our movie, though. This one's a comedy, with John Barrymore playing an eccentric professor and inventor of a machine that can make people invisible. And due to all sorts of mix-ups and a need for money to continue the professor's experiments in the laboratory, Virginia Bruce, who's a model, becomes invisible and while in that state takes revenge on an abusive boss and also falls in love with a handsome playboy. Now, Morning Becomes Electra, this is not, but it's much more entertaining. There are all sorts of good actors involved, too. John Howard's in it, Charlie Ruggles, Oscar Homolka, and the wonderful Margaret Hamilton. Also briefly, future Universal Studios' number one leading lady, Maria Montez. So from 1940, just for the fun of it, The Invisible Woman. 